everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Daniel the Paladin, and you are watching the Christian Adventure Gamer. On our channel, we like to do unboxings, do paintings, playthroughs, uh, reviews, things like that. And so welcome if you're new, and welcome back if you are returning. Uh, if you are new, go ahead and hit the like button if you like what you see, and feel free to be a subscriber. Uh, also, today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Overboss by Aaron Mesburn and Kevin Russ. It's a game that they designed by Brotherwise Games. It is a 2-5 to five player game, and it also plays in about 20-30 to 30 minutes. So before we get to this cracking unboxing, I do want to show you a contest that we're having till the end of March of 2021. Uh, we are giving away a copy of Betrayal at House on the Hill. And so this is a brand new copy here. All you got to do is be a subscriber and email me at christianadventuregamer at gmail.com to be entered. In the, subject line, in the subject line, go ahead and put Betrayed. And in the body of the message, just go ahead and put your contact information, like name, address, things like that. Hey, uh, let's get to this unboxing and get it done. All right, so before we open up the box, I'm going to go ahead and open this little package up here. It's supposed to have like a tile bag in it uh, and some uh, promo cards, things like that, especially for uh, Boss Monster, which is one of my favorite games. And so here's some of the tiles. Not quite sure what they all mean as of yet as far as what the symbols mean, but these look like they're different kinds of uh, dungeons, possibly. Uh, they have like the, uh, almost like the original Zelda type feel to them, the way that they're designed. So there's all those. Here's some other chits. Here is a terrain selection card, promo card, and a boss monster card. And it's got a little card in front of it. So, in order for me to use it, in order for me to see it, I gotta take it out of this bag and see what it's giving me here. Ooh, so I got an overworld gate, a boss monster. I got the collective, as you can see. So I can zoom in a little bit better. There we go. And the card here says uh, Tower Terrain Rules. So card that talks about how to use these, so that's nice that they put those in there. And it comes with an extra, I think two, I could be wrong, it might just be one, but I think it's two uh, bosses for this, uh, this game. So, what we got here? We got the Brothers Wise, it's supposed to be like the uh, <laughs> Brother Wise games, so the two brothers there, that's cool, as a, as a Blue Etten. And we got the collective there, so that's cool. So I'm just going to set that bag and those aside. Uh, train, tower card. So there's that. Another tile. So it looks like those are all popped out. And I'll go ahead and pop out all these little chits because they're already, already there. So yeah, that was pretty simple. Throw that over there. Got some chits here. I ain't no chitting around. Ain't no thing but a Chitting a wing. Enough of the puns, huh? All right. So let's go ahead and open up this box. Just move that stuff over. Oh, in the bag. That's supposed to be like uh, a tile bag, I think. But it seems like it'd be kind of small for. I'm not sure how many tiles it's supposed to hold. Um, so it looks more better suited for a dice bag. But all right. So here we are. This is why you're here. Beautiful artwork. Always love the Brotherwise games, like the uh, Boss Monster. Uh, it was one of my favorite um, games to go play at Gen Con. Me and my wife have always played in the tournaments there, uh, and sometimes you know we lose. I don't think we really I think the most we, the furthest we got was maybe into the second round, but we have fun every time we do it. Uh, I got beat by a kid, like I got completely smashed, and that was okay because you know I had fun. Looks like the corner here is starting to, the seam is starting to unravel. You can see that's just folded paper there over the, over the corner. So, okay, it's got some dings and dents in it. Look at that, beautiful. Yeah, I'm back up just a hair. Nothing in there. This thing is definitely stacked to the top. 
So I'm assuming that you're going to throw these cardboards away when you're done popping everything out. So it kind of gives you a components list here, which is really nice. Not a lot of games do that. It gives you a token bag. So if I can just pop this plastic here. That's what I do. I guess it's just kind of push down on the corner to get rid of that. Huh. All right, so all the booklets are here. Components. Shows you the different bosses. Oh Lord. Overboss bag with the token bag, different tokens, the player boards, different cards, should be scoring pads. I love the NES type graphic, pixelated graphics on these things, so that's it's one of the, the best cosmetics of the game, I think, in my opinion. Gives you a setup overview, nice, very, very simple, very easy, good. Oh, it gives you a little info on some of the other things that they're selling. Yeah. Solo mode, that's good. Quick start guide right there. Look at that. And so, if you didn't see the solo mode, um, there it is. Throw those in there. So, then here are the different tiles. So, it looks like we have an evil tree, something you'd see uh, Ganon's lair almost, is what it looks like. So, yeah. Uh, different trees and stuff. I just popped out a chit on accident. It's a, it's a useless trit. Chit says, after punching your tokens, you may wish to. Uh, and to it says, after punching your cho your tokens, you may wish to insert some of your used punch boards beneath the plastic inserts to ensure a flush fit with the top of your box. So, okay. So some of them, but not all of them. As you can see, they stand above. Uh, different creature tokens here. It looks like uh, arches, and there's the creature monster tokens there. That's at the back of that. Yeah, these things pop out super easy. Like that's not going to be anything. You just kind of barely flick, and they're flying off. So that's good. The really good uh, die cut there. I just barely touch it, and it, it falls out. So there's that. You got crystals, more tiles, beautiful, beautiful artwork, uh, pixelated artwork. Castle, graveyard, things like that. Some more monsters here, undead. Looks like uh, dungeon rooms. This one's got a crease in it. That's not good. I wonder if they can send you a replacement on that. You can see there, there's a huge line that goes through those, and it's almost like something was there putting pressure on it. Almost looks like a crease. It's like it's hard to touch it because everything just wants to fall out. So I'm gonna set that board aside. And there's that. Looks like a volcano. Cloud. Tiles. Some lava monster tile or you know chits there. There's the player boards, so that's nice. Five of those. And it's double sided. So, one side you can play with a theme here, the other side you don't have to. I think, like, you'd actually put your boss monster card here, and there's something that happens with the graveyard, but I think on this side you don't do a lot of the same things you do on this side. So, there's two different versions of playing this game, I do believe. So, there is the uh, tally pad tally up all your points. So put it in the book form instead of from the top, so that's cool. There's the tile bag. And there's a game tray. So is there anything underneath? Sometimes there is. There is. Looks like a piece of plastic. Oh no, no problem no problems there. So looks like there's some baggies in here too. So there we go, let's open that up. Oh, it's just a bit bad. So there's where the cards are. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pop all these out off camera and go ahead and insert them in there. Let's open up these cards here. These are the terrain selection cards. I think that they could have just gotten away with saying terrain cards into terrain selection cards. Uh, so there's Intimidate, Intimidate, Demolish, 
uh, overthrow, swamp, intimidate, a lot of different, oops, camp. So I'm assuming these have different uh, actions. I assume that's what those are. Castle. So I'm not going to go through all these. There's a forest. You can see there. Actually put that face down. Like so. There we go. Let's look at the monsters or the, the overlords or overbosses. So you're saying boss monster or overlord. It's either one or the other, never both together. Alright, so we got King Croak. He's the first number one boss on the cover, should I say, a uh, boss monster. Supposed to be like uh, Bowser, right? Uh, Belladonna. Killa, Killa Gorilla. I can't even pronounce that. Zaxix, Z6, Zaxx. Cerebell, Cerebellus, Mother Brain, right? Cleopatra. Uh, Kazana. Porcus, which is supposed to be like Ganon from Zelda, one of the original Zeldas. Explodo. It almost looks like the Kate Kool Aid Man. But a bomb and Kyrax. So that is everything that comes in the box. There's not much to it, just a bunch of tiles, really. A bunch of tiles, lots of chits, uh, some cards, and a scoring pad. I'm excited to get this game to the table. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, unpack everything and put everything in here and show you what it looks like. So as you see, I got everything in the box. Uh, and I spoke to you soon. Some of the punch boards that I had actually weren't cut very well and so they ripped uh, some of the tiles so like here you can see definitely where it snagged and there was some other ones probably easy to see on the back side so like there I showed you that one earlier uh, and so there's a few damaged tiles and chits but I'm going to send those pictures into otherwise hopefully they'll make things right because I don't want to be able to easily identify cards back because they're damaged when I play the game. But as you can see here we have the different uh, train types I guess you call them like these are I'm assuming like fortresses uh, this looks like a fort there a little flag and the, the chits go right underneath them it's almost like a slide out you can just slide them right out of there there's a little sl slope that they can just travel right out of as you can see in here you see here too there's a little slope there but these just go in there and then they sit on the bottom like that. I fold them over so they lay down and those sit right on top to hold them in place. Now there was a bunch of crystals and, and uh, archways and I'm not sure where those go so I put them here but I don't like the way that they sit in there because I feel like they're going to be a mess uh, when traveling. There's those. This was the expansion or promo I guess or add-on or stretch goal there are the promo stretch goals there uh, train cards uh, those are the little tokens to represent the uh, bosses so we have the octopus guy so um, they all have two so I'm not sure what the two represents but the, I just put them there just because I didn't know where else to put them and those cards are going to hold them in place we have the castle, the graveyard mines. I'm not sure what that would be symbolized other than maybe some runes. Uh, cloud, sky, volcano. I'm not sure what that is, but that's the promo uh, stretch goal that comes with it. Um, desert. Uh, this would be a swamp. It's a mushroom for a swamp and then a forest. So, and then here's all those different characters. They sit right on top just like that. Hold everything in place there. And we have the lid. Goes on like that. Love love game trays. This will go here. I'm not exactly sure what all is going to go here because these things look like they're cut out for something specific. But for right now, I'm just gonna put that promo card in there. I'm not sure where else to put it. Uh, and then we have this here. I'm not exactly sure where that's gonna go. So maybe here. Yep. So 
looks like. Uh, dice bag, or not dice bag, let's say dice bag, it looks like a dice bag with the or tile bags. So I'll just put them there. And we'll have the player boards set on top of those. Just like that. Good enough. And then I can actually, now that I know how much space I'm going to need, I can take this out. Like that. Take, let's say I take three of these. One, two, three, eh, why not four? Just try that. And that's pretty flush. Now I just want to put this in there. And that's ready to be closed up. Alright, well, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing video. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Yeah.